Good afternoon. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to cook a pork roast in the Emerald Air Fryer using the rotisserie. I made a roast beef using the rotisserie and it came out pretty good. What are you talking about? You overcooked that last time. Only by a little bit. It wasn't as rare as I would have liked it to be, but it still came out good. That's your opinion. Hey, I only let you hear with me because you said you'd be quiet. If you don't like what's going on, feel free to cook your own dinner. I will if yours turns out like crap. I'm not gonna waste my time cooking dinner in case yours turns out edible. Man, sit there, shut up, drink your beer. Otherwise, you can get the hell out of here. All right, just make sure you don't screw this up. Shut up. Okay, so I got a three pound pork roast. I stuck some garlic in it, but I've tied it up with butcher twine to make sure that that meat stays together and does fine on the rotisserie. Critter in that emerald air fryer set on a rotisserie, default rotisserie 375, and we'll see how this comes out. I'm just gonna use olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. Got this baby all seasoned up. We'll put it in an emerald air fryer and give this a whirl, or actually a spin. All right, let's do this. We're cooking this by temperature. Chunk pork like this, once it hits 138 for at least 60 seconds, all the bad stuff's dead. So I'm gonna monitor the temperature on this. I'm gonna check it pretty often because I don't wanna overcook this and we're cooking at 375. So I'll probably take this out when this roast hits 135, 136 and we'll pull it. Let's get it in that Emerald Air Fryer. Okay, the Emerald Air Fryer default 375. I put the time up to two hours. I don't know how long this is gonna take. We're gonna cook by temperature. This roast is ice cold, refrigerator cold. And my goal is to keep it cold so that the inside doesn't overcook while trying to get in a nice crust on the outside. I'm gonna check it for temperature about every 15 minutes. Once it gets to 130, I'll check it every few minutes because I don't want to overcook this. I did not preheat this because I didn't want to burn the crap out of myself trying to get that in the rotisserie apparatus. All right, we'll set an up timer, see how long this takes. Let's do a temperature check at the very center, 134. We're going to let that rest. That'll carry over cook four degrees. Ooh, that roast looks really good. All right, we're going to cut this baby right down the middle. Ooh, that's some beautiful pork, so that's the center. Let's take a look toward the end here. That's pretty too. Nicely brown. Don't forget to take the strings off it. You don't want to serve your, <laughs> your guests a, a pork loin with butcher twine on it. Wow, that's unbelievably delicious. But man, that was easy. Once again, just gotta be careful. This was a almost a four pound roast. It only took 40 minutes. You could easily scorch this. Kind of like I overcooked the roast beef last time. Keep an eye on it. Gotta give two thumbs up to the air fryer for the pork roast too. Cheers with an icy cold Stella Artois. Have a great three day weekend. If I'd made this video drinking gin and tonics, I'd be all drunk by now. So cheers, have a good one. See ya. Oh, take care.